so it's time for another guest gameplay here on my channel. Welcome to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nessinator. Now the gameplay provided for you guys today is provided by none other than my little sister and fellow AOVI clan member, Candy Girl. Now she's provided me with gameplay clips here on the channel before. If you haven't seen any of those previous gameplays, I'll be sure to put some of those links down in the description below. But this is the first Black Ops 3 gameplay she's provided me with. And uh, she's just taken to this game, and she's just really, really good at it so far. I think she has like around 2.5 or something like that KD ratio, around a 400 score per minute, and a 5 or 6 win-loss percentage. And uh, man, she's just amazing. She likes to use shotguns. This, of course, uh, is the Haymaker on the map Evac in a game of Kill Confirmed. Now, the Haymaker is her least favorite shotgun out of the four shotguns in this game, and it's mine as well. You guys know I've been working on Dark Matter and I already got two of the shotguns completed, Gold, the KRM, and the Brecky. Now the Brecky to me is the best shotgun in this game, and it's also Candy Girls as well. She thinks it's the best shotgun, and I do too. I think it's by far, hands down, the best shotgun in Black Ops 3, the Brecky. And hopefully I can get you guys some gameplays with that coming up here soon. I haven't used the Argus yet. I'm looking forward to using the Argus. It's another gun. I still have to get Gold. Haven't touched it at all. I know a lot of people have been singing praises about the Argus, saying it's a great weapon, it's OP, it's reminiscent of the KSG of Black Ops 2. It's one of those high skill, high reward weapons where you really have to be on point with your aim with that slug round, and if you are, the gun feels OP, so I know I'll be getting some gameplays for you guys using that shotgun as well. But this Haymaker, man, it's just... It's by far the worst shotgun in this game. I'm telling you, it's a weakened version of the Brecky. Very inconsistent, gives you a lot of hit markers. The range, even with long barrel, doesn't feel like it really gives the gun that much of a difference as far as in range and damage. And, uh, you know, you have to go for headshots to get this weapon gold on your way to Dark Matter. And the headshots with this gun are very inconsistent. You'll be shooting people in the head and it still won't give you a headshot. I don't know where the spread uh, for this gun is, but it's all over the place. And it's just a nightmare to use. So it's crazy that this is the weakest shotgun and probably my most hated and hers as well. And she ends up getting gameplay with it for you guys here on the map evac. So enjoy that gameplay in the background. I do want to know what you guys feel about the shotguns in Black Ops 3. Again, I think the Brecky is by far the best and my favorite to use so far. Again, I haven't used the Argus, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. And by that time, I'll give you guys my full review of the shotguns and which ones I enjoyed to use and which ones I didn't like. And I think I may do that as a series as far as not so much a series on the road to dark matter, but giving you guys my critique of the weapons that I've used so far in the game and how I feel they stack up against each other. You know, I could probably break down the shotguns very easily after I get them all diamonded out. And uh, the same with the sniper rifles. The sniper rifles, if you guys remember, I told you guys in the last five Call of Duty titles, I probably have a combined total of less than 100 kills using sniper rifles. And I decided to, you know, go for Dark Matter in this title, so I've been using the sniper rifles. And I got around 750 kills so far. I got the PO6 gold, I got the SVG 100 gold, and I'm working on the Locust and the Dracon. And once I get those diamond out, I'll probably give you guys my little um, synopsis as far as the sniper rifles go in this game. It's It was kind of crazy, because like I said, I didn't you know use sniper rifles before I've never been much of a sniper player and then I picked this title which of course the sniper rifles have very little aim assist and it's really difficult to snipe in this game and I choose this title to first explore the sniper rifles and uh, it's been quite challenging to say the least it really has been challenging and I will say this it's been fun to get outside of my comfort zone and use a different weapon and just try out you know something else out it's definitely uh, liven the game up for me a little bit it is difficult it can be frustrating but overall, I'm having a lot of fun going for Dark Matter so far. And uh, I just can't wait to give you guys my thoughts on the sniper rifles as well as the shotguns and a few other things. Maybe I'll break down SMGs and ARs. I've done that a little bit before in some previous commentaries, but I'll probably give you guys my Dark Matter breakdown of which guns are the most difficult in each category to get completed, if any. And uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in hearing something like that in a commentary. I think that would be kind of a good idea for a little series, a little quick short mini-series, if you will here on the channel but anyways guys uh, you know this weekend I'm gonna be in and out of the house I, it is my birthday this weekend so I will be out celebrating I'll probably try to drop a video for you guys or maybe two video guys two videos for you guys tomorrow on Friday and those will be my last two videos probably until next week Tuesday or something because I'm gonna be celebrating my birthday this whole weekend you know how I do it do it big 
And, uh, you know, um, I'll let you guys get all the details after the weekend's over, let you know what I did and everything. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay here provided by Candy Girl. If you did, be sure to smack that like button, let her know that you appreciated the upload. And uh, Candy Girl, thanks for this gameplay. I got some more coming out of other people that I play with, u one PR Chaos, Born to Merc. Stay tuned for all those guest gameplays. I just can't wait to show you guys all the stuff that we've been up to and all the things that I got going here in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I'll probably have a few more rant videos because there's a few more things I'd like to talk about in this game before the DLC hits that I'm frustrated with because, man, this game can really get on your nerves at times, man. But um, I also got to do my little stats breakdown for you guys. My prestige, uh, master prestige, I should say now. Stats video, give you guys an inside look at my class loadouts, calling cards that I've completed and all that stuff. And that'll be coming next week as well. So stay tuned for all of that. In the end, guys, thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. This is Nessinator saying I appreciate it all. Keep the love coming, and I'll keep the videos coming. Thanks for everything, and I'm out.